Acroma is an evolving fantasy card game for two or more players. Battle to shape the future of the five realms where the ravages of a dark energy called Acrom is spreading, diminishing the magical life force known as Chroma. During a game of Acroma, you'll spend shards, the life energy that sustains you, to deploy and battle with heroic characters, equip them with objects of power, harness vital locations and unleash cunning actions. Doing so will enable you to gain, drain and steal shards in return. To win, gather 30 shards in your bank, or reduce your opponent's banks to zero. Your canvas. The game area in front of each player is called a canvas. A canvas should have a space for a player's palette, their shard bank, dregs, and an area to deploy cards. For easy formatting, place your characters at the top of the canvas and locations at the bottom of the canvas. Your palette. Each player needs a deck of 30 Acroma cards called a palette. Buy pre-constructed palettes or build your own from your Acroma card collection. Which cards you can have on your palette depends on the format you're playing. Check out the Acroma website for more info. Your shard bank. Each player starts with a bank of 10 shards. Players spend these shards to deploy cards from their hand. Deployed Acroma cards have the ability that allow a player to gain, drain and steal shards from other players. To keep track of your bank, we recommend using the free Acroma app for iOS and Android, but tokens or dice also work. Your dregs. Your dregs are where your erased and discarded cards go. Each player has their own and they should be face up. Your dregs will be empty when you start the game. Your hand. Your hand consists of cards drawn from your palette that are not yet in play. Your hand shouldn't be shown to other players unless stated by an in-game effect. Each player starts the game with a hand of 5 cards. There is no limit on how many cards you can have in your hand during the game. A chroma is played over a series of player turns, each consisting of 4 steps that must be completed in order. The active player completes all four steps in their turn before play is passed clockwise to the next player. Play continues to go round until there is a winner. Randomly select a player to take the first turn. Start step. In the start step, you may do one of the following, draw or trade. To draw, take a card from the top of your palette into your hand. To trade, discard a card from your hand, sending it to your dregs. Add that card's shard value, the number of filled shards in its hex, to your bank. If playing a two-player game, the first player should skip the start step and go straight to the main step. Main step. You can deploy up to three cards during your turn. Deploy cards from your hand by placing them face up on your canvas and reducing the shards in your bank equal to the shard value. Characters, locations and objects of power may only be deployed in your main step. Actions may be played at any time during your turn, not just the main step, but still count towards your 3 card total for each turn. Objects of power may be deployed by attaching them to characters on the canvas. Show this by overlapping the cards. Some cards have a gameplay ability that becomes active when it arrives on the canvas. If the gameplay ability has the keyword action before it, this ability triggers and concludes just once, immediately after the card is deployed. Otherwise, the ability is considered to be in play every turn the card is on the canvas. During your main step, each character that has been deployed in a previous turn can attack one other character on another canvas. To attack, select one of the characters called the attacker and declare its target called the defender. Attackers and defenders deal shard damage to each other at the same time equal to their strength, which is the number located in the center of the hex. For each point of shard damage a card takes, its shard value, the number of shards in its hex, is reduced by 1. When the card is reduced to 0 shards, it's erased and sent to its owner's dregs. If a character has any attached objects of power, the objects of power add their strength to the characters. Objects of power also take shard damage, and do so before their attached character does. If an object of power is erased, any remaining points of shard damage is carried over and applied to their attached character. 
If a character has multiple attached objects of power, their owner chooses in which order they take the shard damage. Characters and objects of power that survive an attack but have shard damage remain damaged until the active player ends their turn, as more damage can be dealt from further attacks and actions, but is reset to the original shard value at the end of the player's turn. Resolve Step In the Resolve Step, some cards on your canvas allow you to gain, drain and steal shards. To resolve, check the top right corner and the abilities of the cards on your canvas. This symbol and number means you can gain that many shards in your bank. This symbol and number means you can drain that many shards from another player of your choice. This symbol and number means you can steal that many shards from another player of your choice. You can't drain or steal from another player's bank until all other players have had their first turn. This symbol means prevent. When other players are attempting to steal and drain from you, prevent allows you to stop a number of shards leaving your bank each turn. As a target of a drain or steal, you can choose which shards to stop leaving your bank. If you prevent a steal attempt, you don't lose a shard and the player attempting to steal doesn't receive one. End step. In the end step, you can draw or tray, just like the start step. When a player completes their end step, the player's turn is over. All cards heal to full shard value. Then, the next player begins their turn. Play continues clockwise until one player reaches 30 shards in their bank, or all opponent's shard banks have been reduced to zero. When a player's shard bank reaches zero, they are out of the game. A player who is out of the game removes their cards from all canvases. Any cards on their canvas that belong to other players are sent to their original owner's dregs. It's now up to you to decide the fate of the five realms. Will you aid the corrupting dark energy known as Akrom, or ally with those fighting to restore Chroma? What are you waiting for? Choose a faction, assemble your pallets, gather your shards, and get ready to gain, drain, and steal your way to victory.